we are being scared of something in particular, maybe ghosts, monsters, or perhaps the dominoes terrify you when you were a kid. Who has a right? But me ask, have you ever been scared of changing? Changes could be as simple as trying a different haircut, or they could turn your life upside down, like coming to go to live to another country. For some people, including myself, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to change, but now I can here with some pieces of advice in case you find yourself in this very same process. Well, some of the most important questions that you have to ask yourself first is, are you sure that it is really your own desire? This will make you think if you are the one who is interested in changing, and if it is your decision, or if it is your parents wish, your partners, your friends, or the societies. The environment we believe usually persuades us to do several things such as modifying our physical appearance or maybe listening to a certain type of music, even, long, even though we don't like it. Usually we pay a lot of attention to the criticism from others and we do what they tell us just to feel we fit into society without thinking if we are happy making that. For, uh, for instance, when I was about 9 years old, I used to buy clothes that I tested only because I saw that all the girls of my own age wore them. I remember, I remember that once I told my mom to buy me a really expensive pair of platform shoes and actually I think I put them on at most twice in my whole life. Sometimes the problem when changing is that you don't feel brave enough. You're scared since you might think that the result won't be as you have imagined. That's because as humans we always want to stay in our comfort zone. When we are faced with doing something that lies outside the place where we feel safe, we get nervous and get into panic. However, I encourage you to leave it, face new situations, and try new things out, like new stuff. I don't know, like undergoing new experiences, taking up new challenges, tasting some food, or maybe wearing a different style of clothes. The point is that trying brings many advantages and benefits unless you don't think so. Doing different things forces you to grow and gain knowledge and eventually learn. It makes us more creative and also happier because we start to lose the fear for the unknown, so we want to be faced with more situations. Like, I don't know, if you um, uh, start to doing something like singing, then you uh, step in the, sta in, the, in the stage and, I don't know, then you have one uh, sing more and, I don't know, you can start acting or, I don't know, dancing maybe. Um, from my recent experience, I'll let you know that I didn't like to go, uh, go into a theater. I thought it was a waste, of, a waste of time because once my parents took me to one and I totally changed my mind. Uh, I think I had never laughed so much as I did in that place, so nowadays I go to a theater as often as I can. Um, we should take risks throughout our lives because we don't know what blessings, could, what blessings could come from them. Who knows, you can meet new people, find new hobby, or maybe you can change the way, the way you perceive the world. Life becomes boring when they go to them, so why not present them and set new goals? A sentence from the song Fix You, written by Chris Martin, the lead singer of the band Coldplay, says, if you never try, you'll never know. Ignorance is death and knowledge is life, so live your life to the fullest, just you only live once. <laughs>